what? <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> oh, that is crazy! Oh my god! Welcome back to Lombok, another beautiful sunny day, that's what we like to see. We are heading uh, to the south of the island, it's my first time heading south since I've been back here. We're heading down to Kuta and this is going to be a super interesting one. This is like, I don't know, nothing I've ever done before. Um, how to describe what we're about to do? Basically. There is a festival, a local tradition um, with the Sasak people who are the main tribe in Lombok going back hundreds if not thousands of years and they have once a year this festival called Bo Nyale. Is that how you say it? Bo Nyale? Bao. Bao Nyale. Oh yeah that's Layla by the way. Say hi. <laughs> Uh, Layla's with me. She doesn't have a microphone because I couldn't afford two microphones. Probably for the best anyway. She'd just be ripping into me if she had one. So, what's that? You love me? Uh -huh. We're heading to Kuta, the heart of South Lombok. It's a place that's growing in popularity by the day and it's not hard to see why. Down here, you'll find stunning empty beaches. There are rolling hills covered in lush, green rainforest that tumbles down to meet long stretches of white sand. There's nothing but the sound of the Indian Ocean rolling and pulsing rhythmically. This is paradise. Yet, once a year, this all morphs into something else. Oh my god! Something a little more peculiar. We arrived at Sega Beach looking to find out more. Okay, we are here at Sega Beach on the south coast. This is where it happens. Um, we're a little bit early. It's like, what time is it now? Like four? It's 4.20. 4.20. This is what's going on. It's very quiet at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna set up the GH5, get everything rolling on that. Have you been here before, Layla? Uh, yeah, I think so. You've never been to the Bao Nyale festival before, no? No. Josh. Oh, hello. What's going on? Hey, man. Oh, How's good? It going? Yeah, man. Yeah. This is Layla. Oh, Hi. hello, Andre. Nice and this you. is Andre. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to quickly clarify, um, you guys have already met Andre if you watched the last episode of The Lombok Life when we were in Giliaya, uh, but we filmed this before the Giliaya episode, so that's why I'm introducing Andre to Layla, blah blah blah, back to the film. And this, later on, I think, is going to be super busy with loads of people, apparently. <laughs> and we've got Layla and Andre. Say hello, Andre. Welcome hi, hi. to the vlog. <laughs> Do either of you guys, have either of you done this Baunyale thing before? No, no. No? No, this was the first time. Ever. Ever? Ever. Me too. So that makes three of us. And do either of you know like what to expect? Like what's it about? Like... No, no, no expectation, really. You? I'm just gonna go in there blind. <laughs> so the plan is, we're gonna just film what happens here. And we're gonna find out like, What's the story behind the festival? Why do the people do it? We're hopefully gonna interview people and just find out a lot more. <laughs> and maybe eat some sea worms, I have no idea. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> awesome. Eating sea worms? <laughs> Sorry, what? We didn't know much, so we set out heading over this small rickety bridge in search yeah. of answers. Whoa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this bridge is so sketchy, what the heck? The chances are that if you're from outside of Indonesia, you've never heard of Baunyali. But here in Lombok, it's a big deal. At first glance, this looks like a very normal beach and there wasn't much to suggest that anything special was happening here at all. We started talking with the locals on the beach 
who were able to tell us the story of Baunyali. Baunyali is a tradition of Sasak. Tradition of Sasak, yes. Yeah. One year in a year. The Sasak people make up about 85% of the population of Lombok. That's about 3.6 million people. They are a tribe that go a long, long way back. Ada kerajaan. Ada kerajaan. Kerajaan dia namanya Putri Mandalika. Oh, Putri Mandalika ini putri dari kerajaan itu. Dari kerajaan. Kerajaan ya. apa? Kerajaan Sakat Kuning. Sakat Kuning. Sakat Kuning ya. Oh, ya. ya. Yang uh, daerahnya di, di sekitar. Di sekitar Kute ini. Di sekitar Kute ini oh. ya. Princess Mandalika was beautiful, <laughs> and because of her beauty, princes from many kingdoms wanted to marry her. Her father, hmm. the king of Sakar Kuning, did not know what to do. Cinta segi empat, ya? Tiga segi tiga. Cinta segi tiga. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Unsure how else to settle this love triangle, he asked the princes to fight one another. The victor would take her hand in marriage. However, Princess Mandalika hated the idea. She decided that she would not be part of this terrible bloodshed, especially not in her name. Akhirnya dia nekat, dia nekat cebrung dari pantai Segar ini. Nekat. Naya nyebrung dari pantai. Cebrung. Ya ya. Ya ya cebur ya ya. Dari gunung yang itu, ya itu namanya gunung Segar. Yeah, yeah, they are launched. Legend has it that she threw herself from the cliffs, plunging into the sea below. When the princes went to look for her, all they could find was small, tiny sea worms. Nothing else. Cacing, cacing, cacing. Cacing, cacing. Nyali itu artinya cacing. Cacing, yeah, yeah. Nyali itu cacing. Bau itu artinya bau tangkap nyali. Tangkap cacing. Yeah, tangkap cacing. It was these sea worms that only appeared once a year on this beach. This is what made the Baunyali festival. Pihak si kerjaan itu ya? Ya. Pihak si kerjaan sawi, pihak si kerjaan kocak beru, itu pun dia lepas sejarah dari Pantai Segar ini. Turun temurun? Turun temurun ya. Sampai hari ini? Sampai hari ini. Turun temurun. Bapak, berarti setiap tahun Ya, setiap tahun. Dari tahun berapa saya nak tahu? Berpuluh-puluh tahun. Ya, lebih berpuluh-puluh berapa nak tahu? Nenek moyang apa dah dulu di sini? We were promised that overnight, as had always happened, thousands of people would be descending on this beach to catch them. And what did they do with the worms? Ngambil-ngambil yang cacing, terus kita pakai sayur, pakai. Dipakai makan ya? Dipakai makan ya. Dipakai makan. Tidak, kalau sudah masak. Oh, ya, dimasak. Dimasak. Dibuat pepes, dibuat pes gitu. Oh. Nah, dibuat pes, dibuat sayur, sayur bening, sayur. Pokoknya bagaimana cara kita suka yang makan. Tapi kalau dimakan langsung, tetap oh, bisa. Bisa, bisa tapi. Rasanya seperti apa? Agak manis. Oh, tak. Ya. Tak. Tidak, tidak bagus. Cuma agak ada apa namanya itu sedikit kayak. Lengket. Ya, ya, ya. Itu aja. Hmm, delicious. All we had to do now was wait. Three a.m. till sunrise. That's what I learned. Okay. He said it's three a.m. Three a.m. till sunrise, yeah. So they doesn't. You don't think tonight they'll be? Bukan malam ini. Bukan. Oh, walau ada sedikit, tidak ada. Tidak ada ya. Kalau kalau malam airnya naik. Ah, jadi orang tidak bisa turun. Ah, tapi cacingnya ada. Cacingnya. Ah, ya. Ya, the worms there, but it has to be low tide. Okay. And then we 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 know it's low tide tonight. Yeah, there's a low tide tonight. Yeah. There is a low tide. Yeah. But then there's one tomorrow morning as well. Yeah. Yeah. So he reckons tomorrow morning is when. Tomorrow morning. Oh man. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Until the sunrise, he said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Armed with the knowledge that we would have to be waking up and leaving at 3 a.m. in the morning, we headed back to base. This is our fun little base for the evening. As you can see, it's fully furnished. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is, uh, I mean, this costs like 100,000 for the night, 110,000 for the night, which is about five quid for both of us. And it's like a full double bed, you've got the aircon. A um, little bit different to what we stayed in in Gilead, but this is for work. This is like literally just so we can sleep for a bit and then head out tomorrow. Um, I think there's something quite like, what's the word? Something romantic about roughing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> travel. <Ugh>. Oh. <laughs> it's like real travel. Look at that. So uh, yeah, we're gonna freshen up, get some food in Kuta and sleep. That's it. That was really good. I, I'm happy like we got a really good interview and the light was beautiful. We learned a lot. Now all we need to do is film the festival, film it happening, film these sea worms. Are you excited? I'm excited. You excited for the 3 a.m.? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm an early bird. Love it. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a blatant lie. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to set our alarms. Yeah. Cool. Before sleeping, we met up with Andre and his friend in Kuta, where we ate some delicious local food and talked a bit more about the Sasak people and culture. All right. So we just had some delicious food. How was that? Yeah, very good. good. Very good food. Okay. And whilst I have three lovely people from Lombok, I was hoping between you, you guys could explain for someone who's not from Lombok, like explain like what does Sasak mean? Like what, who are the Sasak people? I don't know. I'm not from. <laughs> Here. <laughs> You're from Java, yeah? I'm from Java, yeah. yeah. I don't speak Sasa. Um, but I've lived here for 12 years and then what I understand, it's a, it's a tribe and um, a language. So they, they, they refer Sasa to um, culture and yeah. language. So it's specific to Lombok? It's specific to Lombok, yeah. Okay. For, for example, in Java we have like Sundanese, Japanese, and a couple of others, tribes and um, language, but here in Lombo uh, for this area, it's Sasa. Oh, okay, okay. And then Leila, you were telling me earlier that even though it's the Sasak people all over Lombok, there's still like language differences between the north and the yeah. south. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, is that true? So every places in Lombo, they have different accents. Yeah, so yeah. like in the north, east and also in Kuta. Kuta is part of central of Lombok, but in Kuta they have different accents between Raya and ah, okay. the place in central of Lombok like Mantang and Mopa. So is it, is it diff is it difficult to understand someone from like the north of Lombok compared to the south? Is it a completely different language or uh, a different accent? Different accent and different words. Ah, okay. Yeah, some different words. Can you guys speak? Can you speak Sasak? Yes, you know. A little bit? Not like Sasak. The, like, Sengigi Sasak, yeah. You can speak Sengsi. <laughs> so do you think, like, over the whole of Indonesia, as that archipelago, there must be, like, there's hundreds of different languages, right? From all these different... Yeah, thousands. Probably. Thousands. Yeah. Yeah? And then there's obviously Bahasa Indonesian, which is, like, the overall... Yeah, the national language. I see. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, everyone has to speak Bahasa to communicate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then this festival that we're filming tomorrow is specifically a Sasak sort it's of celebration. Sasak culture. Yeah. 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 Is it specifically Sasak? Yeah. Yeah, Sasak, especially in South Lombok. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just South Lombok? Yeah. So if you're from the north, you wouldn't necessarily, you would not maybe come down to the south to do this. It's just if you live in central Lombok or the south that you would do it. I see. Okay. Learning. <laughs> it's kind of like a little bit like, so in the UK, like I was saying to you earlier, if you drive between Liverpool and Manchester, it's like half hour drive but there's different culture and like the language is a bit different and like the accents are different. Right. So it's the same kind of idea. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But the, it's English. It's, different. it's all, yeah, so it's all English. Mm -hmm. So everyone can understand each other, but then there's like different words right. where like someone would look at you like, what did you just say? Yeah, like <laughs> the slang. Yeah, it's the slang. Yeah. 
So it's the same here, I'm guessing, as like different <laughs> slides. Yeah. For awesome. example, uh, if you say no, uh, in Sasak in general, you say ande. ande. But in South Lombok, just say eda. Ah. Yes. Okay. So they're like totally different. Yeah. Totally, totally <laughs> different language. <laughs> I'm only just learning Indonesian, so I think yeah. just, I stick with that and then I'm good. <laughs> with a population over 270 million, Indonesia is a huge country. The fourth most populous in the world. From west to east, the archipelago stretches a longer distance than the width of the United States. Inevitably, with so many people and such vast distances between islands, there are an overwhelming amount of religions, cultures and languages to be found here. Each and every island is, in some ways, like its own individual country, with unique languages, history and culture. It's a fascinating place, and since I've been back here in Lombok, I've been learning a lot more. Despite this, there was nothing that could prepare me for what we were about to witness at 3am the next morning. I'm uh, just going to set our alarms for tomorrow morning. What time, three? Um... Let's do one at three o'clock and then one at 2.45. Oh my, are you actually trolling me? Well, the first, the, the first one will go off at 2.45, then I'll wake up at three and then we'll be out the door by like 20 past. And then we'll meet down at the beach at 3.30 as planned. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Guys, we fucked it. <laughs> it's 8 07 in the morning. Completely slept through the alarms, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. Got back. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Sega Beach in the darkness at 3:30 a.m. As you can see, there are tons of people. Already. <laughs> How are you feeling, Layla? I honestly did not expect it to be this busy. <laughs> you didn't expect it to be this busy? No. <laughs> Amidst the gathering crowds, we found ourselves back where we'd begun 12 hours earlier, walking across the rickety bridge. Okay, we are back where we were 12 hours ago, just there. About to cross this rickety old bridge. It's just super sketchy because there's loads of people now. <laughs> this is perfectly safe. This guy's just strolling right across. Uh, I'm halfway across already. Fuck. Do you want to? Like you're gonna break it first. <laughs> you want to go ahead of me? Had a big dinner last night. The closer we got, the more people we saw. Everyone is making their way to the beach. So, just setting up the GH5 in the dark, which is a challenge in itself. And as you can see, like, it's already super busy here. Uh, can you bring that torch this way? So, <laughs> there's so many people here. As I wrestled with my GH5 in the dark, more and more people arrived. <laughs> It was like a river flowing down to the sea. Everywhere you looked, motorcycles and trucks full of people were all descending like an unstoppable surge. In the darkness, thousands upon thousands of headlights float and bob, all drawn to this one beach. Alright, we got Andre with us. Good morning. Good morning, guys. <laughs> How did you sleep? Um, good but short. Yeah, yeah, enough. Sure, hey? yeah, enough. enough. But, uh, I think it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, man. Um, 
What do you think of all these people? Was this what you were expecting? Like, what's... Uh, no, I didn't expect this based on yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. It's crazy, huh? Very good turnout, yeah. Like thousands yeah. and thousands of yeah. people. I hope there are enough uh, worms to catch. <laughs> With our gear prepped, we decided to walk up the small hill to get a better view of what was going on. Okay, we're just getting up on the hill, trying to get a bit of a vantage point and see if we can... Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my days! Oh my god. Holy shit! What? Oh my god! What the hell? Oh, that is crazy! Oh my god! Holy shit, man! Wow! Everyone's screaming, going crazy. What? Seeing this view for the first time was something quite special. It's as if the night sky had fallen down and now the stars were floating in the sea. Thousands upon thousands of headlights dancing around in the waves. Have either of you ever seen anything like this? Never. Never. <laughs> it's crazy, hey? It's so surreal. So surreal. And there's still more people coming. Yeah. The constant stream of people. All right, let's head down and see what's going on. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are heading down into the into the chaos. <laughs> oh, that's right nearly full. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh man. Time to find some sea worms. As we waded out into the sea, all of us were buzzing with excitement. Anything that moved in the water might be a worm. Sweet. We're in. <laughs> okay. Where are the worms? Yeah, where are the worms at? Do any of us know what we're looking for? <laughs> no. No. Not. Yeah. Wait, I see. I see. You see? I thought I saw like a blue. Look. Oh, look, look. See it? Oh, that's a fish. Oh, it's fish. Oh, it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so boring. Oh, it didn't take too long until we found our first one. Maybe. What about these little red ones? Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, there are. I think there are. There's worms, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were thousands of them, just as the legends had promised. Over the next two hours, we stumbled around in the darkness, searching for these small, wriggling little ribbons of colour. Everywhere we looked, people were hunched over, young and old, scouring the beach with nets and torch in hand, as if they were possessed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People's buckets were full of these slimy, wet, slippery little mysteries of the sea. Does she think it's uh, a good catch this year? Or that some years there are more, or...? Yeah, banyak, sedikit. Yang tahun ini lumayan? Iya. Ah, ya, serius. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Does she come here every year? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, nice. And how, how does she cook them? Uh, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. She eats them raw. No, no, she, she cooks it. Oh, she does cook it. Okay. Nice. Awesome. As you'll see later, you can cook these things up, but you can also eat them raw, straight from the sea. What do they taste like? Well, I guess the only real way to find out is to try them.
I'll try this a little bit here. I hope it's not toxic or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bon appetit. Thanks. Oh, hello. Tastes like nothing. Tastes like nothing? No. No taste? No taste. <laughs> no taste. <laughs> Maybe different color, different taste. Yeah. Let me try again. <laughs> He's going back to second. <laughs> He wants more. What about the texture? Is it like... Oh, it tastes like... I can taste now. Like muddy. Oh, yeah, you can taste it. It's a little bit muddy and... Yeah. This one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> this one's sweeter. Sweeter? Yeah. Different color is sweeter. Yeah. Interesting. Or maybe just more portion to it. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, muddy, a little bit salty from the salt water. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Would you eat them all the time or just a mm. once a year? <laughs> once a year kind of thing. <laughs> For the events, yeah. for the events, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Unsure about Andre's underwhelming review, I declined to eat one myself, and we stumbled out further into the crowd. We're just wading through the sea in semi-darkness. Uh, so, I don't know what to say. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I mean, I'm, it's quite fun, actually. It's fun, hey? Yeah, people seem to be having a really good time. Like. People are enjoying themselves, there's lots of laughing and whooping. It seems like a proper social event. The atmosphere here was like a carnival. Everyone was whooping and cheering, having the time of their lives. We hadn't realized it, but a lot of what Balneale was about was the social aspect. Having a laugh with your family and friends. What's her favorite part about it? <laughs> What's like her favorite? Uh, yeah. So it's more like it's not even about the worms, it's about like it's the social aspect of it, yeah? Uh, I guess if it wasn't fun, then why on earth would you wake up at 3 a.m. for it? Basically, when uh, when the big waves come, it pushes all the water down these channels, and that's when everyone just goes crazy. <laughs> everyone just starts whooping like woo! All the worms coming down. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> this is so much fun. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. What did you say to me just then? It's like a spectator sport. Yeah, it's, it's like a big sporting event. Yeah, it's like a huge sporting event, you're right. Everyone's like crouched on these gullies, on these channels, just waiting. And then when the big waves rip through, everyone's like, oh! <laughs> oh. Do you find that it's good to be like in a channel like this? Yeah, it's good because like this, like, like this. So the worms get pushed yeah. from the waves and then they come yeah. down? Ah, so you reckon this is the best spot? <laughs> okay, nice. With these channels funneling all the worms into one place, even a novice tourist like me was able to catch one. Alright. Ah, you got it! Oh yeah? Run. Yeah! Oh my oh, gosh! Yeah. Awesome. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's effortless! <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Yeah. And then... Green one? Oh, yeah. nice! Oh. <laughs> ah, it's nice, nice, nice. First time, uh, Josh. Yeah, and you? Gila. Gila. Nice. Josh got it. <laughs> nice. That was my first time, just yeah. straight away. So Let's now you put them, you put them in here. What do you do with the worms? How do you cook? Do you cook and eat them, or how do you cook yeah, them? Yeah, we cook. Uh, like we put a coconut, you know. Oh yeah, coconut. Yeah. yeah. Ah, nice. And we fried it 
and something like it. Yeah, nice. It's tasty. Yeah, tasty. Yeah, yeah. But some sometimes I don't like it because uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's the worm. Yeah, it's a worm. Yeah. <laughs> do you come here every year? Oh yeah, every year. Every year, yeah. yeah. What do you like about it? What's your favorite thing about it? Uh, it's uh, funny. Yeah, yeah. Funny and yeah, I like it. What do you Everyone, see, yeah, everyone seems to be laughing and having fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's about, yeah. Mm. It's more like a social thing with friends. This whole event was. <laughs> it's hard to explain. I think it's one of those where you just have to be there. That's what this is all about. It's a gathering of people, a shared experience, a zany cultural celebration in the middle of the night. Suatu saat nanti kau kan <laughs> As the night sky gave way to dawn waves of blue and purple, something came over me in a moment of it's now or never. I realised I didn't come all the way from the other side of the world to explore Lombok and document these moments from a safe distance. I came here to live it. If I can catch these worms, I can damn well eat them. Oh, that's the one. This one? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna catch him and eat him pretty much straight away, yeah? Yeah. Ah, okay. there you go. See? Go. Okay. I can't say I taste anything, like you said, like... Yeah. And after taste, like... Oh, wait a couple of more seconds. Is this anything like mud? Oh. Yeah. Now I taste the yeah, mud. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. tasting like. What's the texture? Is it like quite the chewy? The texture is like super soft, like spaghetti, overcooked. It's like overcooked spaghetti. slimy. Yeah, 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 it's like really easy to eat. It's like mush. Is it, it moving in like your the, mouth? It dissolves in your mouth. Yeah. I can taste the sea. Yeah, oh, like you can taste the sea. There's like a lot of mud and salt in my mouth now. Yeah. It just tastes like muddy seawater. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's That's, interesting taste. It's okay, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad, yeah. I don't know if I'd have it every day, but... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, once a year? Yeah, once a year. Once a year, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Nice. <laughs> As I chowed down on these little creatures of the sea, the rotation of the earth brought Lombok back towards the sun once more. The blues and purples gave way to pinks, reds and oranges. Thousands of people were all suddenly revealed in the light. Suddenly, everyone came to their senses. Back to earth, back to reality. Blinking and shaking their heads, staggering around, they looked down at their buckets and nets and began to traipse back up the beach, back across the hills and into the heartlands of Lombok. The tide has gone all the way out now. It's pretty much as low as it gets. The sun has come up. People are still looking for those worms, but it feels like kind of like the end of the event. A few remained behind to scour the rock pools in search of any last worms, but the festival was over as quickly as it had begun.
got ourselves some coconuts. Andre's got a coffee. Not bad. Back where it began yesterday. <laughs> Back where it all began. That was. Uh, I don't know how to explain. What do you got? How would you explain that? What were your thoughts on that? I think it was like unexpectedly fun. Unexpectedly fun. fun. I wasn't expecting to have that much fun. I think. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What about you, Andre? What were you saying before about the what your expectations were and how it was in reality? <laughs> it's um, no expectation is the best. Yeah. And then came here. A lot of flights. It's um, yeah, it's one experience, I have to say. Like, yeah. Next year, maybe we'll come again. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. The the worm taste. Uh, we, but yeah. You just you fun. just went for it. Like when, <laughs> when I said I was like, oh, are you gonna eat it? I was joking. And then you were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll eat it. <laughs> as long as it's not toxic and yeah. yeah, actually it was okay though, yeah, wasn't it? It's not famous. It's a strange taste, but it was okay. Uh, ah yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just as we were congratulating ourselves about being brave enough to taste the sea worms and how we would definitely do it all again next year, there was one last surprise. We were just about to finish up and head home and then <laughs> look at this. The worms, they've kindly cooked them for us. What did she say? How, how did she say she cooked them? Uh, just steamed and then we have shallots, um, lime yeah. and lemon basil. Lemon basil, okay. So yeah, it's going to be super awkward if we don't like it. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting that. I can't believe we're actually about to do this. Do you want to go first? Yeah, okay. First yeah, okay. Me? Big fork full. Bon appétit. It's genuinely quite tasty. What does it taste like? I can taste the shallots and no, it's good. Like whatever they put in it, it tastes better than the one I ate out there. <laughs> it's actually really good. Yeah, enak, yeah. Let me guess it. You want to try? Um, it'd be rude not to, right? Yeah. I kind of don't want to, but... Just three years, forget it. Yeah, easier said than done. There you go. The flavor's good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's actually tasty. Yeah? Uh-huh, it's good. What's he saying? Sometimes they wrap it in the coconut leaves and then oh. they steam it. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. they grill it. Oh. What's his favorite? What's his favorite way of doing it? Paling enak menurut bapak yang kayak gimana? Ya kayak gitu. Yeah. So like they wrap in the the leaves. That's his favorite. Ah, uh, nice. Barbecue. Nice, nice, nice. You want some more? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I can still feel it in the back of my throat. Nice. You need some water? Yeah. Plenty of water there. Apart from this one brief lapse where I momentarily remembered I was eating worms and nearly threw up in my mouth, I cleared the whole plate. Nice. Just to prove, finished, clean plate. Ready for home? I'm really impressed with you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm surprised. Yeah? Do you think I had it in me? No. Honestly, no. Comment below, would you eat that? <laughs> That was really good, genuinely. With our stomachs full, it was time for bed or home. Uh, I don't even know what time it was at this point. It's hard to put into words that whole thing, that whole experience. Like, all I can say is you can, the best way to experience it is to just do it yourself. Like, you can watch this video and get an idea of it, but I, uh, if you're ever in Lombok and you happen to be here around February or March, then it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, I just loved it. Like, this is 
the whole reason I'm here work-wise is because I want to tell like stories through travel um, and share like these interesting unique stories different cultures from around the world so like this is my passion like I'm I really enjoyed that I was just so good I think you enjoyed it as well hey? you got stuck in on the filming yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah happy days um, if you've enjoyed watching this let me know like subscribe all that good stuff um, yeah thank you thanks for watching I appreciate it we'll see you next week still need an outro that's week. not the one. <laughs> oh, we gotta go over this rickety bridge again love you first just cross the river no dump all this footage when we get home but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it yeah Layla we'll cross could they cross the bridge you... 